middle movies to me in these series seem like the hardest ones to pull off. And I, I love that this is the movie where the facade slips that was so carefully constructed in that first film. That's right, yeah. Well, you really get to see even more of the Capitol because we're, you know, we go and we're on a victory tour and so, you know, all of the representations of the excess are on full display here, including all of Effie's outfits. And um, so when everything, when the quarter quell happens and, you know, these two victors are, are pulled back in, I mean, it's really, it's an overstepping of bounds that I think President Snow didn't realize he was making. Well, I like that with, with Effie we see sort of that attitude in the Capitol where you intentionally wear the blinders. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Whereas I love that with your character, it's far more about the subversive ways you play the game. Yeah, that he puts it's, that message out. I'm in the game. That's right. But I'm going to totally do this to you. Mm -hmm. And that was a big surprise, that moment on stage when uh, Katniss is wearing her wedding dress and it turns into the Mockingjay dress. I mean, that, that pissed off a lot of people, <laughs> especially President Snow. It, it is an interesting uh, line for these characters to, to walk because you are all absolutely part of the system. And when you met Katniss, you had done this so many times before that it was, it's not like this is the first time you've done the games and that's why it woke you up. It's her in particular. What is it about Katniss that has really started that with these characters and has really forced that awakening? Well, she does everything from the heart. I mean, from that very first moment when she volunteers from her sister, you root for her, you believe in mm -hmm. her. Um, you know, she's so genuine about everything that she's doing. All of us are playing a game, and she's not. She's uh, an unwilling participant in something that she is trying to gain some control over. And I think we can all relate to that feeling in our lives, right, of wanting a little more control over our fate. Um, for Effie in particular, I think she's never had a victor, so the fact that she gets not one, but two victors. Um, you know, it really, I think her maternal instinct kicks in in a way yeah. that she didn't know it existed because she actually gets to know these kids. And, and uh, you know, it's the, it's the apex of her career at the same time, and she's famous by association. And then when that's all taken away with the quarter quell, her eyes are truly open to the cruelty of the capital. For Francis to step in, I, I think must have been daunting to some degree because you guys had been so confident on that first film already. I think from day one, it just it was it was a natural fit. I mean, yeah. I, I loved working with Gary. He's a great director. We had a great experience with him. He's really uh, hands on with his actors, and uh, you know that didn't end up happening for the second film. In comes Francis, and from day one. Uh, I think he, was, he was he was just you know it felt natural he well he was definitely in charge he had his own vision mm -hmm. for the movie and um, that's actors all we want is a great leader mm -hmm. <laughs> you know we have to have trust in the person who's going to edit the performance and put mm -hmm. the movie together that uh, that he's you know making the movie that we can all believe in and I think that the proof is in the pudding in this one for breaking entertainment news and more follow at hitbix on Twitter or visit hitbix.com